And as a thank you to all you with your tremendous enthusiasm, I have something very special for you viewers out there, and that is a giveaway in the form of actual licensed 100% authentic Donna Titan swag. That's right, in the form of Donna Titan's t-shirts. Coming in various sizes, and if you're excited about t-shirts with Donut Titans, all you gotta do is be subscribed and comment down below and let me know who is your current favorite Titan. And not only that, maybe let me know what's your favorite thing about DBR and the channel. What's your favorite thing about the channel? Let me know that. And that's all you gotta do to be entered to get some swag sent straight to you from DBR. Now we got a lot to cover today because there is some exciting stuff coming out in Donut Titans. Um, for one, here I'll give you my first my my impressions of the game as far as coming back into it after working my tail off in real life. <laughs> but I actually feel like the game is far more generous now than it has been in the past. For example, getting the uh, the lands in the center no longer requires an attack. You just claim it and you get a reward, a decent amount of rewards. I mean, it's it's basically like when they got generous with battle rewards. And uh, it just feels like everything's faster as far as what you get. So, like, you're forging faster, you're fusing faster, because you just get more to work with. And then, yeah, the daily surprised me as well. They used to have the whole daily uh, where you had to donate troops, so you had to make sure someone in your alliance was requesting at the time you needed it. Whereas now it's just simple stuff. Train Unak easily. Uh, raid one land instead of three or five or whatever, so that's pretty fast as well. And then... Just coming back, just coming in from the weekend where I was over in London, there are so many events going on right now. Right now we've got this uh, Brawlers event where you get Avalos as the top reward. And just seeing that alone, I mean, that's amazing. It, I mean, right off the bat, they're giving you a ton of, you know, a ton of tokens to work with. So I, I actually need to get to attacking. In fact, later in this video, I'll get to attacking. I, I'll do it. Don't worry. Not only that, I'm not sure if this is just the Note 8 that I'm working with, but art-wise, when I scroll across the clouds that were hovering above in our lands, I don't know if you can see this. No, you can definitely see this because I'm recording in HD. But below the lands, you can kind of see like a fiery earth underneath the clouds. And it's just, it's gorgeous. It's actually more beautiful than I remember. And again, that might just be the Super AMOLED display amping it up. But no, I think, I think they definitely tweak some stuff because it looks fantastic. Fantastic. You guys can see that. Now, I haven't had time to explore a ton of stuff. The attacks, of course, are still uh, with the revamped AI that I remember um, making my attacks have to change a bit. I think, actually, it's a really good balance because now, instead of just attacking with no losses all the time, players have to figure out new strategies to dodge the spells, right? The AI is a little bit different now as far as how the troops attack your ranged troops and melee troops and what they pay attention to. So, I'll get into that in future videos. Um, but today we got something big we need to focus on that I'm sure you guys are waiting for me to get to, and that, of course, is the big reveal. So without further ado, let's get right to it. The big reveal of Flamehide. No, I'm kidding. You guys have all attacked Flamehide. I keep hearing it over and over again. Flamehide this, Flamehide that. I know! Flamehide was an awesome Titan a little while ago. He is beatable. Uh, Grimla Grimbald, for all you particulars out there, Grimbald... <laughs> is uh, definitely beatable as well, but he is hard to beat. Oh gosh, how I missed all you four-star titans. I gotta start leveling these guys up. All right, now, you might be seeing it here first on Drive-By Red. You might have seen it on a different channel, but you should know that there's gonna be God among men. God among titans. What am I talking about? That intro was awesome. We gotta do it again. Let's go to Thorg. Thorg, sorry, Thorg. Move over. Here comes Thor. <gasps> Thor, got him. Are you Thor, the god of hammers? Hmm. He might as well be god of hammers because that's a big, giant hammer. Check this guy out. He is a lightning champion. Lightning champion, coming in at 138,000 health. Maxed out like a god should be with 10,000 damage with this uh, Stormbreaker at only level 1 equipped. In fact, let's, let's even deselect it. And you can see his base damage here 9,260. And that's with the current skill set of Thor's Hammer 20% base damage, health, armor, attack radius. 
Okay. Roaring Strike, 30% critical. Granite Ward 2, 72% Titan resist against Earth. He's got 72% Titan lightning damage increase. And of course, Quirus 3, which is a 44% Titan armor buff. And man, load this god up with the right amount of relics, the right spread of relics, and you got a force to be reckoned with. And as you can see, <laughs> look, at this, look at the lightning glow off of this hammer. Oh man, I'm gonna have to make a montage with Thor because this is just beauty. This is beautiful art with Thor, the god of thunder. The god of hammers? Hmm? All right, now keep in mind the skills can be subject to change, of course, subject to the random draw. And also, this is not the finalized version. But, let's take a look at how he's currently set up, okay? Champion class, health and damage, right? His speed is one. He's got 5% uh, piercing off the bat. It's pretty standard. That critical is up from his skill set. His range is medium. His damage area is medium. Armor of 92% with that Quirus 3. And of course, he has that resist against Earth up to 72% with his skill set. Now, I kind of want to see this guy in action. Do you want to see this guy in action? Let's get him out there. But first, let's get him set up with something. I might have to absolutely demolish my, uh, my relic formation on my current Titans just to get this guy buffed up. Yeah, let's give him Holy Blade, just because that's, uh, he doesn't have charge, but whatever. It'll give him some armor piercing and some damage boost. Uh, let's go grab that. Even though it's a level one, it's going to boost his lightning attack directly. So we might as well grab that. What was it, 20% boost? And it was a level three. Look at all, look at all the relics, guys. You're going to have to help me out with this. Should I be keeping this many relics still? Because I have a ton, because I wanted to load up every single Earth Titan, even two and three stars with all their... Earth relics, but I'm out of room. I have 197 out of 200 relics in storage. All right, let's see what else should we get in here. Iron Fist, maybe? Boost his health. Uh, Iron Guard. Oh, Protector. He's got to take Protector. It's coming off a of Flame Hide. <laughs> uh, Iron Fist coming off uh, Flame Hide as well. Flame Hide is just decked out with this. Iron Guard? Let me guess, that's on Flame Hide. <laughs> I just made Flame Hide naked. Flame Hide has nothing on him. He's guarding the castle. Wait. <laughs> Don't attack me right now. Poor Flame Hide is naked. Wait, did you see that? That brings up to 193,278. Damage 10,337. AP is 23. Critical 71. Yeah, alright. I can do better on my relics. I'll get there. Physical resist 100%. Fire 50. Weaknesses are lightning, ice, and poison at this point. Armor, 152, it's not bad, it's not bad. Let's go find something to go do some damage. Here's a fantastic fight for Thor, all right? We got Freya up the wazoo, we got some terrors, we got some rages, and she's got, does she have a resist against lightning? I don't believe she does. All right, so we're gonna come in here, I wanna try, I wanna try something. I wanna try uh, soloing with Thor. So let's just do this, we're gonna go rage, 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 Shield, fireball, and then three panthers just to draw. You know, it's his pets, and they're just gonna draw the terrors. And if they want a spell run, they can spell run whatever they want to do because Thor's gonna take care of the battle against a level 60 Freya. Godlike Thor versus Godlike Freya, which by the way, it's basically the battle of the gods. Boom. All right, they're hidden. He's coming right through here. Let's take this out first and then come in. Here we go, Thor soloing. Boom! Ooh, he actually got hit. It actually nipped his HP. Surprised. What, Frey? Where the hell are you going? This guy needs to be invisible. No! Why are you going to my Panthers? Get away! Run away! Run away! <laughs> what? The hell? what? Chase the Titan, dudes! All right, you go. Watch this. He's going beast mode. Dude, his friend, she's done! <laughs> That's Thor for you. I didn't even have to rage him, I just should've let him be. He's going hog wild. Let's see. Grenadiers, this is only 53% armor against fire. With 153% armor. But that's resist against fire is only 53%. Oh, he's gonna get hit. Dude, don't, don't you run away. He doesn't have any fear, does he? 
See, Thor has no fear, right? No fear. You can't believe Freya went straight for the Panthers. There's a god right in front of you. All right, he's gonna finish this off by himself. We even drop a, let's just drop a fireball. Ooh, spell. We don't need a spell. We got Thor. God of Hammers. He's just gonna sit there and whack everybody. Boom! Before the spell drops, boom! <laughs> Level 60 Freya. How fast was that? Go back and time that. What was that like? 20 sec 10 seconds? She didn't last very long. Lost the Panthers. Man, they just beeline for those Panthers. That's awesome. Level 60. Okay, let's see. We can find another level 60. Here we go. Level 50 Cormac. All right, we're going to do it again. We're going to solo Thor versus a level 50 Cormac. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Same spells. I got basically rages, a fireball, and a shield. Should I even use a spell? Or should I just true solo? Let's just true solo. Let's see what happens. Because apparently everyone's going to go for these Panthers no matter what. Which is Lambo. You guys good? Let's go for him, man. Boom! <laughs> he didn't even get a hit in. Just like the air coming off him. Come on, dudes. Get away from my pipe. Or my, my pimpin'. Just the air blowing off of his hammer took Cormac level 50 down. As I try and like run away with my Panthers back here like a bunch of scaredy cats. Can't I just, or yeah, go hide in the bushes. That's what they should do. Can they actually hide these days? There we go. And he's on the spawn point like a boss. No, kill him. Just kill him. Stay on the spawn point. That doesn't matter anymore. It's over. It's already over. Gotta find something. Oh, here we go. Fitting ending. Yes! God! <laughs> Lightning behind Thor. <laughs> well, suffice it to say, guys, uh, I know it's been a long time coming. You guys have been waiting for a Lightning Titan. What more fitting champion than Thor, God of Thunder, to come down and be the Lightning Champion? Takes down a level 60 Freya like nothing. All right, here we go. Let's take on uh, a level 60 Sargon. Uh, I always had this love-hate with Sargon because I love him because he was my first four-star, and I hate it because I, I eventually sacrificed him, and I really shouldn't have. Um, but one million, let's do it. Let's have Thor, rated at 160,000, take on a Sargon. Wow, Sargon looks really good. Did they up his graphics? Not as good as lightning coming through the jugular of Thor, but pretty dang good. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Should we do one more attack, guys? Should we do one more? Are you yelling at the screen right now? Are you yelling? Let's do it. Let's do one more. Thor soloing Sarkar. What do you think? One hit or two? Should I rage him? Let's forget the rage. Please give me a place to hide these. Should we just forget the Panthers? And then hopefully, if, if anyone goes for him, I'm just going to draw them all to Thor because Thor needs to just go kill everyone. Kill Sarkar. Wow! Sarkon's got some defense. What? Some, he's like a Freya. He's like Sarkon Freya. Wow. I'm just letting him take hits. No, no, no. You can kill. Seriously? They are. They straight up ran, ran to the, uh, the Goliath, ran to the Panthers in the bushes. They must have... Are they still there? They're still there! How can the Goliath see them when they're out of sight? That's crazy, man. Uh, go take out the Grins. And then... Man, I can't believe that. So once Sarkon's down, now it's a question of how heavily can they take out these... These Goliaths, how quickly. See the Grins focus on Panthers? Doesn't look like it, does it? Keep him close, man. Bring him all. Yeah, bring him all to Thor. All right, here we go. This is going to be for our screenshots. 
Sir, come to Thor. Come to Poppy. There we go. Oh, dude, the panther killed him? Thor enraged. Boom! Wow. I'm still impressed that some of these guys can take a hit. Good, good view in here. I need a 360 angle going on, guys. I need a 360 angle. Yes! <laughs> I love that hammer win. Boom! Okay, so level 60 Sarkon, no problem. In fact, we probably need to find a Titan that buffs his troops, right? Otherwise, I'm not going to slow him down. Let's try him with one of his uh, 1.86 million because pikemen are buffed by Avalos. I'm curious about this. God Thor versus 1.8 million buffed level 22 and 23 pikemen solo. Uh, but I'm going to change it up. I'm going to take freezes with rages because I think those are going to be necessary. Fingers crossed, Thor. I've got confidence in you. All right, let's see. Okay, nice that we got some bushes back here. Nice, we can actually hide them right off the bat instead of playing around. We can all stay right there. And he's just going to headlong into Avalos. See what happens. Okay. I'm going to give him a rage so he can take out this thundering nonsense. Seriously? Avalos is already down. We're just going to kite Pikeman around, apparently. So he is getting, he is taking some damage. So what we might end up doing... We'll try to freeze out. Come on, you can do it, Thor! Yes! Go kill those pikies! <laughs> yes! Well, let's take a swing already, man! 1.6 million buff pikemen. I shouldn't have done the freezes. Should have seen if he dealt with his own HP. He's got at least another, what, 30, 40,000 HP left? Oh yeah, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Well, there you guys go. That's Thor. God of Thunder. Pretty awesome Titan that is obviously a must for the collection, just by the entry alone. But as you can see, truly uh, amazingly usable throughout anything, defense, offense, whatever, simply because first lightning champion. God level. Fantastic. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know what you thought down below. Don't forget to comment, favorite Titan, what you like about the channel, to enter in for a giveaway for an official Dawn of Titans t-shirt. And I'll get a hold of you if you win, right? And I'll see you guys next time on the next Dawn of Titans with Drive-By Rev.